Okay, this is a um, good problem because it, it deals with solving a triangle. It deals with the possibility of the ambiguous case when dealing with law of signs, and then also with the area of a triangle. A couple of quick formulas if you're not sure. The law of signs is sine of A over A equals sine of B over B and sine of equals sine of C over C, where uh, the little a, little b, and little c are the sides opposite the big letters. And then the area of a triangle can be found by doing one half um, a, b, sine of c. And so you need the side angle side. So for instance, on this one, if we knew what a, c was, we could find the area of the triangle. Okay, the second thing is we have to deal with what's called the ambiguous case. And the ambiguous case is we don't know for sure what angle c is going to be. And the reason we don't know for sure is that since 18 is larger than 15, then by geometry, angle C has to be bigger than angle A. And angle C could actually be an acute angle like it looks like, or it might actually also be an obtuse angle. And when you t solve for sine, uh, there's always two possible solutions, and in this case, both are going to be accurate. So we use the law of sines, and we get sine of 42 over 15 equals the sine of C over 18. And so that's going to give us sine of C equals, I'm going to multiply by 18, both sides by 18, and get 18 sine of 42. And then whatever this is, the way we type it into a calculator is we take the inverse sine. When you want to find an angle, you take the inverse sine, which on your calculator reads sine of the negative 1. And then what you put inside the inverse sine is this value. And then that's going to give you our angle C. So uh, let's type that into our calculator really quick. And when we do, we get 0 0.8029, if you need to know what that is, dot, 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 for the um, value of the sine of C. And then we take the inverse sine of that, and we get 53. And I'm going to put out a bunch of decimals here because I want to be accurate. Let's do six of them. Of 413383. And so that's what angle C is. But angle C could also be the supplement of that angle because the sine of C equals the sine of its supplement, or 180 minus C. And so if we do 180 minus C, C could also be 126.586616. And so right now we've determined that angle C actually has two possibilities. And so for this whole problem, we're going to have two possibilities. The one is 53.41, and the other is 126.586. Nine when we round it. So now let's first explore using the 53.41. If that's the angle C, then we can go find angle B because angle B is just going to equal 180 minus the 42 minus C. And so we're going to minus our, our 53.413383, and that's going to give us 84. Point, well, it's 59 when you round it. But it would be 586617 when you don't round it. Um, and then it could also be, so that gives us, when we're using the 53.41, might as well do the same calculation using the other possibility for angle C. So we do 180 minus 42 for the same reason. And then this time we're going to subtract the 126. So 126.586616. And you get angle B could also be 126.59. Um, and that is incorrect. It actually is, my calculator had an error. It's 180 minus 42 minus 126.586616, and that gives you 11.41 and actually 33484. Now, to go find B, um, that, which is this length right here, we can either use law of sines or law of cosines. I'm just going to use law of sines. And so we're going to have um, the sine of angle B, which we um, know is these values down here. And they got, you could go through and go back and look at your calculator to find out the um, actual values for them. And that's going to go over B. And then you're going to have equal sine of 42 over 15. And we're going to have to do this for both um, values that we have for B. And so when we multiply this, I'm going to multiply by B here and 15 here to cross multiply. So 15 sine of angle B equals B sine of 42 
So I'm just going to divide both sides by sine of 42. And that's going to give me B. So I need to calculate this for both of them. So um, my values I got for big B were 11.41 and then 3384 and then 84.586617. So when I plug those into this, my values for B are, well, for the 84.5 um, 86617, I get a value of B of 22.3 rounded 3.2. And then the other one, my value for B, well, I plug the 11.411 um, in and I get Four point four four is my answer. So now I've studied the ambiguous case. I've got two different possible sets of solutions based off my different value for C. And then the last thing for both of these, I've got to find the angle. And so I'm going to use my two values for B that I still have on my calculator to find area. And so I'm going to do area of the first case equals one half eighteen, and then B, which I've got in my calculator, sine of forty two. And so for the first B, I'm using the 22.317 such and such. So it's going to be 0 0.5 times 18 times 22.317166678. Um, and then I just take the um, sine of 42 to complete the formula. And that gives me an area of um, 134 point, and it turns out to be 40. And then for the other one, I do the same thing, except I use the 4.43604667, this value for B. Um, and that gives me, and the nice thing is you can just substitute it in here if you know, know how to use your calculator well. Um, that gives me 26.71. And so you can see that it turns out that the one triangle is much smaller than the other triangle. 26.71. So that's how you go through and, and solve both of these sets of cases um, for um, area and um, all the different cases.